Hey there, this is Angie M of the Crazy Brows today. I swear they're not that crazy, it's just these are lighter and the lighting is really hitting them and they're a little crazy. Just went and saw the doctor. Uh, I wear a boot for a month and I'm supposed to stay off my foot. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna accomplish that either, but we're gonna try, we're gonna give the college a try. I cannot show you the boot. So I'll do a separate video, I'll just, I'll just scroll down to it, but. I am sitting with my foot put up and yeah, that's, that's, that's all I gotta say on that. So I'm wearing a boot for a month. Doesn't look like I tore the tendon in the side of my inner ankle. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. I could still go on my, up on my tippy toes. So wasn't, you know, wasn't, wasn't dire, wasn't needed an MRI and probably surgery. So that's, you know, that's a bonus. But uh, my, my fat ass and I are going to be sitting which is terrifying. And I guess I'm just going to have to eat rabbit food. I was already moving in that direction. I was already eating a lot of salads, working on losing weight, not so much a diet plan, but more of lifestyle changes. And, and this is, yeah, this, this is terrifying. So to someone who wants to lose weight, being told, sit your butt down and, you know, stay off your foot, it's kind of terrifying. It's a terrifying thing. But yeah, it is what it, it is. What it is. So I'm going to move along with normally planned content and life is life. Life is life. After this, if this works and resolves the immediate issue, I will be custom inserts to support my arches. My arches were higher to start with. I've got to do some research with what I was diagnosed with and see if there is a hereditary element to it because in talking to my mom, she has to have inserts and she can't walk barefoot or her feet will really start to, to hurt and be an issue. Uh, my grandfather was the same to the point where my grandfather didn't like having to take his shoes off like if he went to someone's house and they were like no shoes because he needed the inserts so that's a little concerning uh, everything everything's everything's falling apart man my body's like you're closer to 40 than 20 here you go enjoy so I will catch you guys in a much later one hopefully when I'm feeling less like I want to throw myself a pity party but uh, as always, much love and thank you. So this is the boot. Sexy, right? Yeah, I know. I gotta take it off and put a sock on underneath. Gotta read the instructions, see how long I'm supposed to wear it, all that other good fun stuff, and go from there. Yay! Hey there, Angie M. Life by Angie M. Just kind of continuing video, and wow, is that down way too low? Let's bring it back in a little bit. I did not pull my setup over, mainly because it's sunny and I didn't want to miss out on the light. I was playing some video games having myself a little pity party. My husband is super <laughs> supportive right now and, and concerned. And we're, we're very, very glad that I went in and didn't continue to walk on my foot and do like walk it off style life. So I have to wear a, wear a boot or use a knee scooter for four weeks. So not both, not both. Thank the Lord. Cause I was like, am I gonna have to wear this boot to keep my foot immobilized and use a scooter? I am not that type of person. I, I am not. So I felt so bad for my doctor in this visit because apparently we are to the point where he couldn't bring up my weight. My weight is a problem. It is. It just health wise it is. I don't have health issues right now. And and just to, to kind of touch on it, I've been tested for pre-diabetes to make sure that, you know, I'm not heading towards type two life and all of that good stuff. And it comes back negative and I'm, I'm strong and robust and able to do things. And, you know, pretty, even with the weight, I am relatively fit. And I always have been, I've always been, I've always been and fallen in this weird category of, why are you so heavy? There's no reason for it exercise so when I get depressed I don't exercise it's, it's plain and simple I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be boldly honest about it here because I can't be boldly honest about it in my real life and I really need to start being boldly honest about it when I get depressed I shut down and I'm tired and I just want to sleep and I don't exercise getting pregnant with my daughter five years after being told it would probably never happen short of IVF and really having to take a step back and assess where I am being able to keep up with her, things have changed. Our, our diet has changed, exercise has changed. I'm far more active now than I have ever been because there's, there's no choice, right? I gotta keep up with her. And when I injured my foot, 
let's see, I had to wait two weeks to get to the doctor and I probably waited a week to get in. So three weeks ago, you know, I just wanted to walk it off. I just wanted it to get better. And then realized after I had tried to make an appointment with my doctor and couldn't get with my doctor and went to urgent care that, look, I got to rest this. And if I'm getting to a point where I'm in pain, there's clearly a problem. And I was thinking, you know, by two weeks when I see a specialist, everything's going to be fine. It's going to be healed. I'm going to feel completely silly going in. And I went in and I'm glad I went in because I think had I continued to try to move through the pain and had I continued to, to push myself and be like, this really isn't an issue, I could have done some very serious and potentially permanent damage. So I have my little sheet here. What am I diagnosed with? I just wanted to actually say it because I'm gonna do some research, but you know, I just, I just feel like I, you know, gotta talk about it. Do, 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 do. The hubs was just going into his office as I was filming. What, 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 what? I don't understand why we make this so difficult to find this stuff. <laughs> like, I just wanna get to the meat. Okay, this is just the aftercare summary. Dang it, I'm gonna have to pull this up from my phone. Yeah, all the terrifying information. Wow, they got some really old stuff on here. Okay, so I am going to pull that up from elsewhere and I'm going to pop that in here. I don't understand why the prescriptions on here, but not the, not the, this is what you're gonna be dealing with. Oh, and fun fact from the cloth and paper penspirations box, this deli pen is my favorite. And when I use my Tombow on it, it bleeds the least. So yay, but I'm just gonna check that out and then I'm gonna pop back on here. All right, so looking at the paperwork really didn't try to help because apparently everything's not in the system yet. But what I have managed to injure somehow, Somehow I have to look up and research if it could be hereditary. I understand my mom and my grandfather had had issues where they actually have to have inserts in their in their shoes and it didn't start when they were older, so it started relatively around my age. Is the tibialis posterior tendon. So what this refers to is the posterior tibi tibial posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. So I am pretty fortunate, like I said, that I didn't continue walking around on it like a dumbass and completely mess myself up. So I have to wear a boot for a month. Now, potentially had I continued to walk around on it or if the boot doesn't make the problem better. My OCD hurts, there was stuff all over that. It's not my fault. <laughs> then I would possibly need to look at other forms. Hi, kitty kitty at other forms of correction up to and including surgery. And potentially I could have torn that tendon. And if you tear that tendon, sometimes correction can be very difficult. You run the risk of causing permanent deformation to your foot. You run the risk of impacting whether or not you can walk properly, run, all those fun things in the future. So pretty, pretty serious, pretty serious thing, right? So I'm gonna wear the boot and stay off of it. I'm having a hard time right now actually putting my leg up in the boot because the boot is, is more space. So I am going to continue working on that, but that is where we are. And what I have discovered about the boot is I am tired. The boot is heavy <laughs> and I have a two story house. Thankfully my, my office is in my master bedroom now and not in the basement and I'm, that I'm not trying to go down those stairs and then all the way upstairs. I'm definitely not gonna be able to carry my daughter very well while wearing this. Fun fact, I also carry my daughter mostly on my left side, which is the foot that's affected. So my body clearly is is telling me, hey honey, you're 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 mistreating your body and you gotta knock it off. You gotta, you gotta cut it out. So that is where I am with that. Going up and down the stairs. It's a thing. It it it's hard to describe if you've never experienced it, but you know how you would climb the stairs where where one foot would be on a step and then you step up a step and then you keep stepping up steps. Yeah, it's like one foot on step, second foot on step. Good foot, bad foot. Good foot, bad foot. It takes forever. It definitely takes more work. 
The immobilization means I don't have the full use of, of the leg that I would like. I will live, I will survive, small price to pay for a month. As I said, my husband is being super supportive. Again, we're like half a day into this. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see how, uh, how, how frayed both of our nerves are by the end of a month of me kind of being out of commission. I'm going to assume that maybe walking around the grocery store, which was you know my only escape from the house, is probably not going to go very well. I suspect I'm going to be doing online ordering and I will send him to like the butchers for meat and then just have the stuff either delivered or have him pick it up and make it easier for all of us that way. Super easy. Thank you, COVID. I mean, even before COVID, we could get groceries delivered or picked up. Our grocery store was was starting to get into that. But, you know, hey, at least I don't have to go anywhere. We did have something this weekend that I was excited to do. And my husband's like, do we need to cancel? And I'm like, no, 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 I want to no, no. And then it was like, let's just wait and see how this boot thing goes. Because I may find that being immobilized, stuffed into the boot, I love it. Can't really feel my foot. Good thing it's my left and not my right. So at least I can still drive if I need to. I, I think that that I'm going to start seeing how I feel about that here pretty quickly. But you know, hey, it's not the weekend. My daughter's at daycare. I'm going to have work. I got, you know, this is my day off. Kind of wanted a nap. Ended up playing some video games. I've got a bunch of editing and other things to do. I am keeping myself busy and productive. I, I told my husband when he came in, a little bit ago that I was kind of throwing myself a mini pity party, but I'm, I'm over it already. I just, I want to focus and get things done. And it's, I'm not an athlete. It's not like I'm missing out on, you know, I'm not an avid runner who's like, I run 10 miles a day and it's a huge thing. I just, I'm worried about being sedentary. I'm worried because when I start to get depressed, I start to eat my feelings. And I, again, I've talked about this in other videos, I've been trying to lose weight because that is a huge thing. There's a part of me that always feels like every time I embark on these weight loss journeys and actually start to make any kind of real progress that my body kind of throws up these nice little roadblocks for me. And what I think it is, is that as I lose the weight, that my body is able to breathe a sigh of relief. And unfortunately, a byproduct of losing weight is where there might have been pressure because of fat or inflammation or other things that are going on that go hand in hand with with being overweight that what i'm starting to see is i'm starting to see what's really going on with my body and how hard it works to to keep me going and, and functioning and this has probably been something that's been creeping in for a while and i just didn't notice and now that I know how to get the inflammation, I was in a car accident 10 years ago, the inflammation that my knees caused from my knee down, I figured out how to handle that and how to sort of, sort of mitigate that so it's a minor problem instead of a major problem. And I think what was happening is I've noticed that I've had more inflammation recently that just keeping my feet up hasn't really helped with particularly in my left. I think that relieving the inflammation relieved some of the pressure that was holding things in place and just kind of created this vicious cycle. I'm losing light, so you're seeing a little bit more of this because the clouds going by, but so I'm starting to see more of issues that are happening, which let's, let's look at this from a real positive thing. I went to the doctor like I should have. I kept the appointment today as I should have. I didn't try to walk it off or convince myself, no, I'm absolutely fine. It's all in my head. I'm crazy. I'm being silly. I didn't try to convince myself that I was blowing it out of proportion and I wasn't really in that much discomfort and I'm going to get it taken care of and I'm going to follow the doctor's, follow doctor's orders, whether, whether I like it or not, and just accept the fact that this is what I have to do right now and that it's not going to throw me back. It's not going to throw me off track. I'm going to continue on with what I need to do and keep that forward momentum going because if I don't, it's gonna be a tremendous backslide and backsliding into some old and really ugly ways of trying to bury how I feel is going to be more detrimental than actually being stoic and actually being strong instead of just putting on that stoic face. So instead of leaning on a facade where I act like everything is okay, you know what? It's fine. It's a month. It's a month of my life. It's all it's going to be. For two weeks now, I've already been babying it. I've already backed down on being on my foot. 
just means I gotta do some more of that. And while right now it doesn't feel like a month is gonna fly by, minutes, hours, days, they're gonna they're gonna go by. And then it's gonna we're gonna get there and hopefully the boot will have worked. And if it doesn't, then we'll have the MRI and we will see if I've torn anything. We'll see if I need any other intervention and we'll get it done. I'm 38 years old. I mean, I have no choice in this. This this is my body. And if, if I plan on living a long and hopefully healthy life, I gotta do what I need to do now or it's just gonna create more issues down the road. So that's life lesson. Yeah. Mostly I'm amped up and I realize I'm just, I'm, sl I'm slouching into the chair. You, I can tell in my posture that I'm really feeling it and I will process this later. Like I said, I'll have my mini pity party <laughs> and keep going. And I think I'm going to vlog this out because I've got no choice but to do that. I've got no choice but to talk about this in my experience and to hopefully, you know, if there's somebody, if there's somebody seeing this that's, you know, got some physical pain going on that's maybe kind of mystery, you don't know what, you don't know. It's a freckle, thought it was a, thought it was something then, you know, just by all means, go and take care of yourself. I do use essential oils and I will be incorporating those. The doctor also recommended a rub and rubbing the area on my ankle that is a pain three to four times a day for five minutes. It's tender, it's hard to touch, but you know what? If the doctor says it's gonna help, odds are it's probably gonna help to keep, you know, fluid from that inflammation from building up, which fluid retention can be a problem. We don't want that. You wanna make sure you're doing what you need to do to try to keep that away, proper elevation of the foot, of the leg itself, that's gonna be hugely important. And look, we're on quarantine, like I told my husband, I don't have to go into the office. So even though that was only a couple of days a week, I don't have to get in the car and drive an hour to get somewhere and have to get inside and be at my desk and have to walk around if I need to go to the bathroom or, or lunch and all of that stuff, and then drive an hour home. So I'm at home, it's actually the perfect time to be injured. I hate to say it, but right now, if there if there had to be a time in my life to pick, this is this is the best. I do feel bad. My daughter's swing did come in, and my husband is going through all the wood pieces and the nuts and screws and making sure that we have everything. And I am sorry that I can't be down there helping him with it. I know that someone's gonna say you're not really sorry. There's a part there's a there's a part of me that's kind of kind of happy to be relieved from that duty. I'm good at putting things together. I'm good at the mechanical stuff, but I don't really want to. It's 80 plus degrees outside, which is good because it's been in the 90s. So. Yeah, but I mean, there's there's this other part of me that this this is something that we should be sharing in. This this is an experience that's for our kid that we. It, it should be it should be us. It should be us. And I will set a chair outside. And I will sit outside and watch her play. And then hopefully after this is all said and done, I will be able to go ham right alongside her and helping her climb and showing her how to do the dangerous and dumb things on the swing set that I did as a kid that you know I probably shouldn't show her, but I will because, come on, I'll put, a, I'll put her helmet on her before I teach her how to climb up to the top and try to walk along the ridge. For those of you who are not Anne of Green Gables fans, you might not get that, but if you are, you know the image I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I was that kid who wanted to do that kind of stuff. Oh, but uh, like I said, I'm tired. I'm gonna get to some editing and get some more things posted, keep some things rolling. As I said, I am mad inspired right now. I've got a lot of stuff I wanna work on and do and put out and talk about. And I'm watching YouTube videos on homeschooling so I can get a feel for what people are doing for their kiddos. And I'm realizing that there are so much learning materials out there and available. Just a really exciting, time of of growth and figuring things out in my life right is that what it's for all of us so again much love and i i'll keep the updates to to videos rolling forward but i have content that's going to be up that isn't going to show a whole lot of this or it's going to show before this so I wanted to make sure I was just interjecting this to be like, hey, almost like, hey, this is editing Angie here. Yeah, have that appointment, got some bad news. We're gonna roll forward with it from our happy place. I'm channeling my inner, you can't see my hands. I'm channeling my inner princess Poppy right now. I should say Queen Poppy because we've been watching the second movie a lot. I'm channeling my inner Queen Poppy right now. I'm just gonna be 
to be zen and optimistic and we are going to keep rolling. Whew. See how I'm feeling tomorrow. Maybe I might have to talk about that, uh, I love a little adaptive thing I've been taking lately. I know, I know. I'm going to interject some doTERRA oil stuff, but mainly because I've been playing around with some things and more, more, more to come. That's not your jam. Don't watch. If you're interested, watch. It's totally non-scientific. It's just me messing around with stuff as I do as a human being. I like to experiment. It's not as scientific as I would like, but hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> So much love, and if you are, again, going through anything physically, emotionally, please, 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 please do not wait. Do not think you're exaggerating or overreacting or you're being silly or things are just going to get better on their own. If in your heart of hearts you know you need help, please go get help. Do that for yourself. If there is one self-care thing that you can do, that is it. Hands down, bar none. And, you know, we only get one body. We only get one mind. I don't know, my emotions go up and down days, so I don't get just one emotion, I get all the emotions, but you gotta kinda take care of that stuff so it doesn't go off the rails. So, as my mom would say, and much love. <laughs>